Hey guys, I'm Aaron from Finktum Languages and also from Finktum English. And today I just want to do a quick follow-up to my video uh, that I made a few weeks ago about how to make money on YouTube by teaching languages. Okay, and I'm going to address some uh, some concerns that some people had. You know, some some uh, you know very uh, legitimate concerns that some people had about. Um, uh, maybe it's not as easy as I made it sound, and um, I'm also going to give you some step-by-step -step, uh, detailed instructions on how to make YouTube videos in the easiest way possible. Okay. Um, also, I want to point out that um, if you're going to make a YouTube channel to help people uh, learn your native language, then Obviously, money might not be the only factor involved, okay? You know, it might be nice to make a few hundred dollars a month on the side, and that's a motivating factor for a lot of people. But if you just want to do this for fun, then uh, that is just as valid. And really, my concern is not to um, help people uh, make a lot of money. My main concern is that I want to fill up this chart Okay, I want to fill up this spreadsheet with channels of good quality YouTube channels. If you don't know what this is, um, I showed this, this spreadsheet in my video last week, and I will also leave a link in the description of this video. But basically, I am on a mission to help people fill the world with YouTube channels that are all dedicated to comprehensible input. And if you don't know what that is, go ahead and watch my video from last week where I talk all about what comprehensible input is. Basically, um, comprehensible input is the probably the most effective way to learn a language and certainly the most effective way to learn a language while watching YouTube, okay? Um, if, you're, if you've been learning a language for a while, you might have seen a lot of YouTube videos similar to these. Learn Spanish in 30 minutes, 100 Spanish phrases, right? You know, uh, uh, learn Spanish in four hours. <laughs> like that's just clickbait. Learn Spanish in four hours, that's nonsense. Learn Spanish in five minutes, okay? Um, these are not really good ways. You know, you see here just a, a lady standing in front of a, a whiteboard um, just talking about a bunch of different phrases that's not how we learn language okay and it certainly can't be done in 30 minutes or in four hours um, so I, I'm on a mission to help people uh, not only find contents that will help them learn a language but I also want to help you guys create the content okay and it's actually much easier than you think okay um, I have been doing this on my own channel, Finktem English, for only about three, four months. I already have a small following of people, 700 uh, subscribers. And um, I've found that even though I've only been doing this channel for about four or five months, uh, my channel is growing much, much faster than my other channel, Finktem English, the channel that you're watching right now. Okay, and this channel, I make videos all about language learning, how to learn languages. It takes a lot of planning and effort. I have to do a lot of video editing, uh, and I can produce tops one video a week. And a lot of times I fail to even do that. Like I didn't produce a video last week just because it's so time consuming. On this channel, it's so easy for me to create a video. I can create one video in 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Um, and high quality videos too, that's the thing. And so I wanna tell you a little bit about how I do that. But again, um, I, I don't want to make it seem like it's really easy. This is not a, rich, uh, a get rich quick scheme of making money on YouTube. You can certainly do it. I make a few hundred dollars every month um, on YouTube uh, by creating videos. So it can be done. Um, but you, you have to do it the right way. And honestly, um, I think this channel, this my English channel, uh, is growing so much quicker uh, just because it's so much easier for me to put out good quality content, content that makes people want to come back, um, videos that are helping people learn English. I can also talk about my friend John, who um, has the channel Comprehensible Thai. Okay. Uh, if you've been watching me for a while, you've probably heard me talk about Comprehensible Thai. I talk about him all the time because I love this channel. 
I am personally learning Thai. And um, look at my friend, look at these videos that he puts out. Okay, he put out one video five hours ago. He put out one video 22 hours ago. Another video one day ago, one day ago, two days ago, three days ago, three days ago, four. He puts out a video every single day, at least one video. He puts out about two videos a day. Um, and I keep coming back to this channel. I, I watch his videos almost every day because I know that there's going to be a constant stream of new videos spoken in easy Thai that's easy enough for me to understand. And that's why I keep coming back. And if you want more examples of, of YouTube channels like that, check out this link. You know, I have it in several different um, languages and I want to keep adding more channels to this list. I want to add more languages to this list as well. Um, but these, uh, these channels are good examples of what you could do if you want to create your own YouTube channel. And obviously, of course, 100%, if you do create your own channel, please let me know. Uh, leave me a, a comment on this spreadsheet and I will add you to this list because I want to help publicize people who are doing comprehensible input on YouTube. I want to fill the world with comprehensible input. Um, and it, the good thing about that is that it's easy to produce. It's a lot easier than um, uh, other channels, for example, like this one. Uh, but again, you have to do it the right way. You can't just sit down and uh, do videos about grammar. Okay, uh, you know, videos like this that just teach you phrases, teach you grammar, teach you the rules. Um, you know, you need a lot of expertise and it takes time. You have to make sure you're saying everything correctly. If you make channels like these ones, like I do on my English channel, all you have to do is talk. Just speak your native language, okay? Um, so really quickly, uh, if you do want to make money on YouTube, there's two criteria that you have to meet. You have to uh, have more than 1,000 subscribers and you have to have people watch your videos for a total of 4,000 watch hours um, within the last 12 months. Okay, um, As you see, I'm coming close to that threshold of 1,000 and then it'll take me a little bit longer to get the 4,000 watch hours, but that's fine. I've only been doing this for about four or five months and I'm already coming close to um, getting paid on this channel. My friend John has been doing this since uh, just since December, so six months he's been doing this, and he's already passed a thousand subscribers, and uh, he is, he's told me that he's already passed um, the 4,000 watch hours. He actually passed that threshold uh, before he reached a thousand subscribers. So right now he's at the point where he can start getting paid after only six months of doing this channel. Okay, um, I've heard, you know, that's not the case for everyone. There are some people who um, who struggle for years to, to get their channel to take off and it never quite does. So uh, in this video, I wanna give you some uh, tips and pointers for what you can do uh, to make your channel grow faster. And, and one of the big things that you just need to do, like I said, is produce lots of content, okay? Don't worry about being a perfectionist. Your videos don't need to be long. They don't need to be um, like highly edited. If you have a video camera and you can, uh, you know, on your phone and you can just videotape yourself, if you can record your screen and just talk about what you see on the screen, that's all you need to do. Just give it a visual component so that people can see what you're talking about and then speak slowly and clearly so that learners can understand. Okay. And um, one of the things that I do is, um, I create these little uh, slideshows, okay? I go on Google Slides and I just create slideshows with lots of pictures so that it's easy to see what's going on, okay? This is the easiest way for me to produce a video. I, sometimes it takes me, you know, w when I do these videos, um, it takes me about 10, 15 minutes to create a slideshow and then about five to 10 minutes to record the video and then I'm done, okay? And um, I've already, as you can see here, I've made a bunch of slideshows and I'm just giving them to you for free. If you want to start to start your own YouTube channel, here's a great place to start. You can, you, I'm leaving a link to this folder in the description of this video. So if you 
wants to use some of my slideshows about cats and dogs or you know slideshows about exercising you know I have a slideshow about uh, going to the beach right this is a pre-made slideshow all you would need to do is just change some of the vocabulary words obviously if you're teaching a different language but the pictures are all there for you okay I just make slideshows with um, you know pictures of uh, this one is about people exercising right and I have some key vocabulary words like lose weight eat healthy junk food go to the gym right and then all I do is I just describe the pictures I describe the objects in the pictures um, I talk about what people are doing I use the, some of the most common verbs and nouns and I speak clearly and then I record them uh, while I'm doing that and then I just upload it to this channel okay uh, so it, it, it's not hard and you don't need to be an expert um, so and one of the best things that you can do to just grow quickly is to find a way to produce good quality content that doesn't take a lot of effort I'm not talking about low quality uh, uh, low effort videos to produce you want to have good videos but if you can find a way of easily producing lots of good videos that will get people to keep coming back that is the sweet spot that's the goal okay and and it doesn't take too much effort to just talk about a slideshow or talk about you know um, some some photographs talk about something uh, I don't always necessarily even do a slideshow sometimes I just videotape myself you know for example uh, in this video hello everyone I went to the beach and I just talked about being at the beach okay it was easy for me to do it took me only 48 seconds to record the video no prior planning I just talk about you know I can talk about islands I can talk about uh, the ocean and then I, I upload the video right and then you know I can get a hundred views on it okay whatever my channel is still growing um, so that hopefully will show you that, that producing videos is not as hard as it seems um, one of the reasons that you want to produce as many videos as possible is that you want to convince people to keep coming back to your videos the reason I keep coming back to comprehensible Thai and watching his videos every single day is just because I know every time I go to his channel there will be a new video in Thai for me to watch he also has a lot of playlists which make his videos bingeable okay look this playlist here has hundred and fifteen videos in it that means that um, if I start watching this video when the video is over it'll automatically go on to the next video okay that makes it easy for me to binge his videos while I am driving while I am washing the dishes sometimes when I go to bed and I, I can't sleep I just want to listen to something in Thai okay, it gives me a non-stop steady stream of, of native speakers speaking Thai that I can listen to okay and it helps me because it gives me a lot of practice listening to Thai and it helps John it helps the the YouTube creator um, because it gets him a lot of watch time and I think that's why it was so easy for John to get to 4,000 watch hours before he even hit a thousand subscribers okay that's a hard feat for a lot of people to do okay anything you can do that will help people keep coming back look I have created multiple YouTube uh, playlists for my channel this one is for absolute beginners so if you don't speak any English at all you can start watching this one right off the bat okay and you can see that it's it's very easy it's very simple it has to do about the face hair eyes mouth you know and in my video all I do is I, I point to my ears you know I, I talk about uh, different parts of the face and it's easy for anyone to understand well then as soon as that video is over if they're watching the playlist it'll start taking them through one video at a time okay I have a beginner playlist I have an intermediate playlist um, I have a lot I have many 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 playlists with different themes right here's a play, play, playlist where I use the past tense a lot okay it's not a playlist about me teaching the past tense it's just a video about me uh, a playlist about me telling stories using the past tense okay if someone so if someone wants to get better at listening to the past tense they can watch this playlist um, you know I have a playlist about dogs I have a playlist about hobbies I have playlists about uh, 
you know, monsters. Some of them only have three videos in them. I have a playlist that uses a lot of city vocabulary. Okay, up here I have um, a playlist of myself playing games in English. Okay, so if you look through here, um, I, I have videos of me playing Among Us. And I just speak slow, easy English while I play the game. I have videos of me playing chess, playing Monopoly, uh, playing some other video games. And um, that gives people a lot of content to keep coming back to and to keep watching. Okay, so if you can make your videos bingeable, you will get a lot more watch time. And um, if you create a, a dedicated fan base who wants to keep coming back to your channel because you are helping them, then you will see your numbers start to grow very, very quickly. Okay. Um, so get people to watch your videos by creating quality content. It's not hard to do if you do it the right way. We're not talking about teaching the language. We're just talking about speaking the language in a way that's easy to understand. Speak slowly, clearly, and use vocabulary that people can understand. Okay. Another thing to pay attention to is your thumbnails. Look at the thumbnails of my videos. They're, uh, by and large, they're very simple, right? Um, most of my videos just say learn English on them. I, I do that because obviously if someone is learning English, then they won't be able to uh, understand long, complicated video titles. Keep your video titles simple and keep your thumbnails simple. Here's a video about people skateboarding. Um, you know, it just has a picture of people skateboarding and then it says learn English. You know, I could, sometimes I say English lesson. Sometimes I say beginner English. Whatever it is, it's, it should, should be something to grab people's attention. Here, bad, right? It's a video of, of me playing chess, okay? Bad is a simple word for people to understand. Um, and, you know, sometimes it's just a, a photo by itself. And then, you know, it says past tense English lesson, okay? Um, my friend John, who creates videos for people in Thai, his advantage is that he can create his, his titles in English. Uh, he can make them a little bit more uh, descriptive because most people speak English, even if they are learning Thai. Right? So, for example, um, you know, if he wants to make a video about uh, offering food to monks or listening to your elders, well, he can just type that in his, the description of his videos, right? Um, uh, and, and people can understand that because they already speak English. I can't necessarily do the same thing in my channel, but that's a decision that you have to make for yourself is whether you want your titles to be in your target language or the target language that you're teaching to people uh, or just put them in English, okay? Um, and, you, you know, there's not a right or wrong answer there. Um, it's, it's just whatever uh, is right for your channel. Okay, so make your videos bingeable, make them easy to click on, okay? Make, um, because even if you have the best video for learning your, your language, uh, it's not gonna do any good if people don't get enticed by the thumbnail and by the title, okay? That's why I always put stuff like easy English lesson, right? Um, learn English with comprehensible input. Okay, easy English lesson, easy English. You see that all over because I'm trying to get people to want to click on my videos. Okay, and uh, one of the ways that I create my thumbnails for my videos is that I go to a website called pexels.com. There's other websites as well, you know, um, Unsplash. So for example, if you're creating a video about uh, going to the beach, like for example, I, I did a video about the beach, right? And then just go to Pexels. Uh, type, go up to the top here, just click on horizontal, and this will give you a bunch of free videos, of uh, free pictures that you can use in your videos, right? Uh, they all, uh, then there's a website called canva.com that will give you a lot of templates, free templates to make YouTube thumbnails, okay? And then you just click on the one that looks the best for you, like for example, you know, maybe th this one is nice and simple, and then it just lets you customize it down here, and you, you know, you can move your text around, you can have it say whatever you want. But if you're gonna make a video about going to the beach, you just grab your picture from Pexels, 
and then um, you know just type in at the beach easy English lesson or whatever you want it to say right and then there's your very simple thumbnail that you made for free even if you don't have any uh, photo editing experience or anything like that okay now let's talk about content a little bit because once you get people to click on your your video because it has a good title and a good thumbnail you want people to enjoy your content okay um, you want to make content that that people will watch it and they'll keep coming back you also you know it's great it's excellent if you can find a video uh, and you make a video that people will keep watching over and over okay I can tell you from experience uh, there are some videos that I've watched on John's channel because I'm learning Thai and I don't necessarily understand everything that they say right away. So I watch a video one time, I understand, let's say, 60% of it. I watch it again and maybe the next time I watch 70% of it. So he's getting a lot of watch hours from me just watching the same video over and over. That counts as... And you know, any minute that I spend watching his, his videos, that is one minute added to his watch time, okay? And it's also one minute that's helping me learn Thai. So this is a two-way beneficial streak, okay? Um, so uh, like I said, one of the main things that I do is I create little slideshows, okay? Um, I'm also going to give you for free all of the slideshows in this folder. If you want to create your YouTube channel to help people learn a language, uh, you have free access to all of these. I'm putting the link in the description below. Obviously, all you would have to do is just, you know, go through and, and change some of the words if you're teaching a different language, right? Like um, I add certain little vocabulary words, sports, volleyball, right? Here, like different types of swimsuits. Uh, sunscreen, sunblock, you can either get rid of all those or change them to your target language that you're teaching. Um, uh, that's up to you. But this is just a, a, a great little library of resources that I have made um, that can help you get started. I shouldn't say I've made all of them. Uh, I made most of them. Some of them I just found. You know, anytime you find uh, some kind of story that you can tell without too many words, that you can just be very descriptive with, right? Like here you can tell the story about, you can talk a lot about emotions, right? Calvin is scared, Calvin is upset, he's gonna be late, um, he's nervous, you know, that Calvin and his mom get into a fight. This is lots of vocabulary words that you can explain and it's easy for people to understand because they can see the pictures, okay? So that's why all of my videos on my, on my English channel, they're all very visual. Okay, I rely a lot on showing people as opposed to just talking to them because just talking by itself uh, is not necessarily always comprehensible. Okay, if you want to create your own videos, right, then um, uh, or your own lessons, then obviously Pexels is still a great website, right? You know, if you want to do a video on the beach, you can talk about surfing, you can talk about beach balls, you can talk about uh, the waves, you can talk about uh, lifeguards in, in the lifeguard tower, you can talk about snorkeling, you know, there's all kinds of pictures that you can use to create your own slideshows on uh, Pexels, okay? Uh, and then one more resource that I use a lot is a website called akani.com, okay? And they have lots and lots of illustrations. You can click on all of these um, to see lots of, of, of pictures that you can use for free for teaching languages, okay? So for example, um, here's a video called, or um, uh, here's a, a story, a picture story called, it's just called Accident, <laughs> okay? They're, they have very descriptive names and they're on a certain theme. So for example, um, this is a, a story that I took from akani.com and it's just the story of a young man who's driving down the road, he has a motorcycle accident and he goes to the hospital, right? And then he has to pay a, um, a hospital bill. Okay, I did a video on this. Um, actually, that was one of my first videos. Let me see if I can um, if I can find it here. I've just done so many videos in the last six months. It's amazing. I've I've actually almost made the same number of videos as I have on this channel that I've been doing for four years. But that's because it's just so easy for me to produce five, six, seven videos a week, um, and that's what you need to do. So here you can see. 
I had, I, I just made a, a video about this specific story, right? And all I do is I just use easy language to describe what's going on in the story. And it's easy to do. So uh, I, I know people are concerned about me overstating how easy it is. Um, you, you know, yeah, you, what you should do is experiment with it. I've in my uh, channel, I've done a number of different types of videos, right? Like I, I go through these stories, I go through some slideshows that I've made for myself. Um, I've started doing, uh, you know, I did one where I just talk about myself a little bit to the camera. Um, I've also done sort of vlog style videos where um, I just, you know, here's me on vacation in a swimming pool and I just talk about what I'm doing. I talk about the palm trees and stuff like that. Um, this is easy to do. All you need is a camera and a language, right? So uh, if, if you've been doing a YouTube channel for a long time and you haven't been making a lot of traction, try something new. Try a different style of video. Try uh, changing the length of your videos. Try changing the, visual, the visualizations. Try something new. Um, but... The, one of the keys is just to keep producing content. And then together, we can all uh, kind of band together and change the way that language learning happens, right? You don't need to buy expensive textbooks anymore. All you need is a YouTube channel or a, a YouTube account just to go on and watch people's channel. And eventually, I would love to fill this spreadsheet up with lots of channels that will just provide endless content for people who are trying to learn a language. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.